Today, we're gonna to learn how to read analog inputs and build a circuit to include a potentiometer. With this, we'll be able to read and adjust voltages ranging from zero to 3.3 volts. To accomplish this, we're gonna use the analog to digital converter or ADC built right into our microcontroller. The ADC converts a continuous time and continuous amplitude analog signal to a discrete time and discrete amplitude digital signal. Now that's a bit of a mouthful to be honest. So a quick version is that the ADC converts voltages to a digital integer. This conversion is based on two things, a reference voltage and the resolution of the ADC. In our case, the voltage of the Pico is used by default, so its internal reference voltage is 3.3 volts. The resolution of the Pico's ADC is 12 bits, which is represented as a range from 0 to 4095. In the case of MicroPython, on the Pico, this 12-bit value is mapped to a 16-bit value, which is represented as a range from 0 to 65,535. However, in practice, you'll see values ranging from 400 to 65,535. How often the signal is sampled is known as the sample rate or sample frequency. In the case of the Pico, it has a sample rate of 500 kilosamples per second. There are a total of five ADC channels on the RP2040 microcontroller. Four of these are broken out as GPIO pins 26, 27, 28, and 29. And one channel is dedicated to measuring the temperature sensor built into the chip. Our Pico board gives us access to three of the GPIO pins 26, 27, and 28. We can still use the other two channels, but GPIO pin 29 is used for measuring the system voltage, and as mentioned before, the final channel is dedicated to the built-in temperature sensor. In this example, we'll be using a potentiometer to adjust the voltage being read by the ADC pin. A potentiometer is a type of variable resistor with three terminals. The two outer terminals, let's call them A and B, are connected together with a resistive element. The middle terminal, usually called the wiper, tracks along the resistive element, changing the resistance between terminal A and the wiper, and the terminal B in the wiper. This effectively creates an adjustable voltage divider. We can connect one side of the potentiometer to the positive rail and the other side to the ground bus. Then we connect the middle terminal, the wiper, to our ADC pin. Here we'll use channel A0 or GPIO pin 26. For programming, we first need to import the ADC class from the machine library and import the microtime library. Then we'll create an ADC object. Here, I'm using the GPIO pin number, but we could have used the channel reference if we wanted to. In the main loop, we'll need to call the read underscore 16 function to grab the current analog reading from our connected pin. Here, we'll print the analog value to the serial interface, which shows up in the shell. We will also want to slow the process down a little so we can see each value change. We can use a fairly short sleep time, such as 100 microseconds, in our sleep function. Now when we run our code, the value of the potentiometer will be displayed in the shell. As we adjust the knob of the potentiometer, the value displayed in the shell changes. If we wanted to see the voltage value instead of the integer conversion, we can add a conversion factor and then multiply our reading with the conversion factor to see the actual voltage. Under the pot object we created earlier, let's create another object called convert factor and set it equal to 3.3 divided by 65,535. Then in our print statement, where we call the read underscore 16 function, we just need to multiply it by the convert factor. Now when we run our code, we see the actual voltage values displayed in the shell. In this video, we used a potentiometer as a voltage divider and read that value into one of the ADC channels provided by the RP2040 microcontroller. We also used the print function to write the value to the serial interface. In our next video, we'll use pulse width modulation to control the brightness of an LED. Until then, thanks for watching.